Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you would subscribe, um, click the little bell down below, and then you'll be updated whenever I do another video. I'm a newbie, so I appreciate you coming alongside me and helping as I grow my Poshmark business and my YouTube channel, which who knows if I'm going to keep doing the YouTube channel. We'll see. I'm a mom of two boys and sometimes I get these big ideas and then I'm like, Pfft. I don't have time for that in amongst the diapers and the grocery shopping and sourcing and everything else. So but we're going to keep trying this YouTube thing and see if I can get the hang of it. I actually bought a stand for my phone where before I was um, actually, I had it set up on boxes like the ones behind me just sitting there recording me. So now I actually have a stick. So. I'm like quasi-professional now. But anyways, um, if you would like to see more videos of me doing Poshmark things, reselling thrift hauls, um, how to kind of entertain your kids while you're sourcing or listing or whatever, I've got all kinds of ideas that will eventually come up as a video. So please like and subscribe um, so that I feel the posh love and feel free to check out my Poshmark closet. All the things that I'm going to talk to you about today are going to be listed eventually. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for those. And um, I'm doing a haul because I did a fill a bag at a thrift store. And I've always wanted to do that. And my local thrift store is a very boutique -y type of a thrift store where they think that everything is super expensive. They're kind of eBay savvy. And so I was waiting for him to do fill a bag, and they finally did, but I didn't know about it till the end. So I was like, I'm 5'2", barely, and they have these huge, like, dumpsters that were, like, full of stuff. And, oh my goodness, I could barely reach stuff. I was, like, grunting. I sounded like a cow. But it was so fun, and I filled two bags, and so it cost me $20 for pretty much all of this stuff that I'm going to show you, except some of the shoes, so, and some of the jeans. But anyways, stay tuned for this fun, super, youtube unboxing for tall thing. Okay, so shoes are super exciting. So I'm going to start with shoes because the other stuff is great, but shoes are my favorite. Shoes are my favorite thing to list. Shoes are my favorite thing to photograph. Um, they're easy and you don't have to measure them like you do a sweater where you have to do pit to pit and length and anything else that somebody may want to know, sleeve, collar, whatever. So you have to do all of those measurements. And same with jeans where you have the inseam and the rise and the waistband. <sighs> so shoes, it's like, these are cute. This is how tall the heel is. Boom. And you're done. Mm. So I don't have to have my book that has everything written down in it, which I really want to fix that system. So if any of you have a good system for that, please let me know. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you the shoes that I have. There's some over here and there's some over here. And then I've got this gigantic pile of clothes that you can't see, but I'm about to show you. So I'm going to try to do this in a timely manner. Go get a cup of coffee and go pee because this might take a little while. So um, one of the first things that I got, which I'm quite excited about, they're a little brighter than my style, but they're so cool. Um, and that is, yeah, uh-huh. These are size 10 hot pink Doc Martens. What a good find, right? Um, I don't know what my average cost of goods was for this whole thing. I think it was probably, with the shoes and some of the fancy jeans, $2.50 a piece. But just the stuff that I got with fill a bag, which I don't even know if I'm making sense right now, was probably $0.77 cents each, which I was really excited about that. So these are up in my um, Poshmark closet already. They're size 10, so feel free to go and get those. You could stop the video right now and go buy them. That would make me happy. Super cool. My next awesome find was a pair of wanted sparkly um, loafers. Yes, like slip on slides. Um, super cool. The sparkles are all there. They look really nice. It's like a black, blue, purple. They're like a blacky blue purple. And they have the bottoms are almost perfect. I don't think you can see. There you go. Bottoms are almost perfect, have a little bit of detail, and they look like they were pretty much never worn. They look like they have that, hey, I sat in your closet for a while kind of thing, like where they have a little bit of dust and some dog hair inside, which I'm totally cleaning out, so don't even worry about it. But these 
are also listed already in my Poshmark closet, so go and get those. So these are all things that I found. It's so fun. Next, these ones have a little bit of wear, but it does not mess up the wearability of the shoe. They are a life stride shoe. And oh my goodness, they're so light and they're so comfy. Like they're really soft on the inside. I'd never heard of life stride before, um, but I'm a mom. I like comfy shoes that are also cute. And that would be these. They have like this um, snake skin kind of look to them. And on the back side, there's just this little tiny bit on both shoes. This little tiny, like funny dark spot on them. But the way that the heels are, you can't actually really see it. Um, this kind of, you can't really see it. So these I will have marked accordingly to their wear, but they are still really nice. They still have a lot of life left in them. See, they haven't been worn very much. The bottoms are pretty clean. Um, and they are a life stride, life stride velocity. Very nice shoe. Super cute. If they were my size, I would totally just not even let you guys see these because they're that cute. But the next shoe is sort of like the one that I just showed you. I can only find one in my box. Keds. Okay, big Keds fan. They're so cute. These are a cute boat shoe. They look like they've never been worn. There's the slightest bit of wear on the whites, but hardly any. And I have a great trick for the whites. Um, I use a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and some elbow grease. I lay down a paper towel next to my sink so that I can continue to wet my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. And I just scrub the daylights out of the white and it makes things look so nice and like brand new again. And that I do if the rest of the shoe is still in really good shape, minus the whites, because the whites get easy, really dirty really fast. I understand. So these are like a brown boat shoe, so cute. These are already listed in my Poshmark closet. I like to list shoes right away. There's a higher price point and they're easy, like I said, with the measurements and everything. So once I have it written in my little log book, I just list them right away and take pictures of them. I'm a photographer also, so the light and the way that the photos look is really important to me. I'm probably gonna do a video about that. So anyways, those were Keds. Then there's also um, Cole. I found some Cole Han shoes. They are Grand OS. Um, I don't know very much about. I don't know very much about that. Um, but they are. Just a little logo there. A nude pump with pointed toe. These do have some wear on one of the heels, but are hard to. It's hard to tell. But oh, you can kind of barely see it right there. Come on, focus. Hello. Oh well. It's just right there little tiny little tiny bit of wear there and you can tell that these have been worn um, but hi, these are a really nice shoe and they're super sexy and they, the gold medallions on the back the logo are in perfect condition Cole Haan. these are size nine size nine the kids are size nine I found a lot of nines stride rights no excuse me the kids Hmm, this is super awesome. I think, yeah, oh, sorry, these, nine and a half. The Life Strides, nine. So if you're a size nine, this is your video. Okay, I also found Mr. Scholes. Mr. Scholes, Dr. Scholes. I'm a mom, we say Mr. a lot, Mr. Mrs. Um, do you have your kids do that? Mr. and Mrs., Miss, Miss whoever? Anyway. Um, so these have a cool little medallion on them. They are in really good shape. You can tell that there's a little tiny, tiny bit of overall wear in the leather, the suede on the shoe, but there aren't stains or any nicks or anything. And you know, this, this whole part is perfect of the shoe and they're so comfortable. These say that they're a six and a half and I stuffed my fat foot into them because I'm an eight and they actually, my foot fit in the shoe, so I would say they're more like a seven and a half. They say six and a half, but if you're a seven and a half, these would definitely fit you and be quite comfortable. Darker shoes. Then I also found some eight and a half, the Dr. Scholl's, like I said, seven and a half. These are an eight and a half, Jeffrey Campbell. These do have a little bit of wear. It's also the suede, like if it's not brushed right when I take a picture of it, it looks darker on some spots and lighter in others, but it's actually, there aren't major stains. It's, anyway, 
they're in good shape but they do have a little bit of darkening here on this part of the toe from wear but these are some really cute and just a little bit right there that is actually a little darker but I have these priced accordingly in my closet and they are Jeffrey Campbell and they are super sexy and awesome and have a lot of life left in them this should be my cover picture for this video All right, I'm really excited about these. I wish these were my size. They're totally my style. These are, um, can't see, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. You can't see the label inside. Um, and they are also like a boat shoe. They kind of remind me of like a pair of Toms. They are made from a, it said in here, what is it? Um, it's a faux straw synthetic upper. So it has this super textured kind of look to it. Not shiny or sparkly at all, which I'm not really a shiny sparkly fan. My shirt that you can't really see actually has sparkles on it, which is way not what I normally wear, but it's fine. So these are really great loafers um, in awesome condition. And they are gonna go up in my Poshmark closet today. Um, they are size nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half is like the winning size right now. So if that's your size, Go get up. And I understand if at this point you need to stop and go pee because you drank a lot of coffee like I did. Ah, <sighs> okay. Almost done with the shoes. This pair of shoes is beautiful. Yep. Okay, now I don't know how to say this brand. It's spelled soft with two Fs. And I don't know if it's like... Soft. Soy. It, I don't know. I can't even. It's soft to me, but it's fancier than that. Like S S O F F T. Super super soft and awesome shoe. These look brand new, like they were never worn. They are gorgeous. They are in my closet, and they're an all leather shoe. Um, so they are. They have like a little bit of a textury kind of a look to the leather. Not patent. No shiny. I like that. Sometimes I get shiny, but I'm just kind of not really a shiny girl. I a lot of times think to myself, what would Joanna Gaines wear? And have you ever seen that woman wear sparkles? I am not against sparkles, so don't send me hate mail because I don't like sparkles. But I'm just saying, let's be classy. Joanna Gaines doesn't wear sparkles, so, you know. Anyway, if anyone has ever seen a picture of Joanna Gaines wearing sparkles, please send it to me because I would love to see that. Shoes. In my Poshmark closet. Already listed. Soft. I'm saying soft until somebody tells me otherwise. Soft, soft. I don't want to sound stupid. I know I look stupid. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, shoes. Black pumps, perfect for work. Like so comfy for work. You probably wear them all day. Another shoe with a slight bit of wear is this. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to start it out, but they're they're really great condition. But I'm super picky about all of my clothing, so to me, there's quite a bit of wear. Anyway. Um, but again, fill a bag kind of thing, so it's worth it. Anyway, an ombre peep toe heel from Stuart, okay, another name I don't know how to say. Stuart Wheats, Weitzman, Wait, Weitzman. I knew it was a brand that I wanted to find, but how to say his last name, I have no idea. Again, somebody fill me in. I'm kind of a newbie, but you know, I find stuff and I can show you. That's easy. All right, so these shoes will are in my closet. They're in my Poshmark closet. They have a little bit of wear on them, um, you know, on this part and on the heel. But otherwise, because the wear on the heel is dark and the heel is dark, the wear on the heel is dark and the heel is dark, there it's harder to see. So that's why I ended up grabbing them. And they are priced accordingly in my closet. <laughs> I'm covering the clothes that I'm about to show you with all the shoes that I just showed you. Okay, two more pairs. Dose, dose pairs. You can you can stay. Hang with me. Hang with me. Hang with me. Okay. Now we've got this pair of sandals. They are Sesta Sesta Musi 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 from Nordstrom's. Great condition escadrille like gladiator sandal. Um, this just kind of wraps up your ankle right here. Um, the underside looks like they were never worn. They're super grippy. Like I have not felt a sandal this grippy in a long time. Like you could climb on some rocks with these. Not that you'd want to, because they're open toe, but you know. So, and then the, um, it Velcros. This part Velcros right here. So these are size nine, Sesta 
Sesta, Sesto, excuse me, Sesto Musi Black Leather Gladiators um, that are espadrilles. Awesome. This is a great transitional shoe. So you can wear these as it starts to get a little cooler. Everything to me is a transitional piece. All right. Found the other Kedge shoes. Very bottom of my pile. Okay, I don't normally pick up men's stuff. You will not find a lot of men's stuff in my closet, but this thrift haul, ooh, I grabbed two things that were men's, which is two things more than I normally grab. These are black, and like brand new Crocs, which Crocs, I don't wear out in public, but they are one of my favorite shoes ever. I have had the same pair of Crocs since mm, 2003, and I still wear them and they're still going, and they don't even look that old. And they're gray. And they're the total classic, ugly croc. Uh, they're, come on, they're, they're ugly. But they're so comfortable and they're wonderful. So, thank you croc for making a wonderful shoe. This is not an ugly croc. I love the loafer, it's like the Santa Cruz slip-on boat shoe loafer that they have. They retail for just under $60. I think, and um, these are in my Poshmark closet, brand new. This shoe still has the little, like, hi, we tried to pull off the tag, but we didn't pull this part off part. And the inside is blue, and the little Crocs in there, but you can't see them. Oh, he's in there. So comfy. Love these. These are a men's size 10. And my size 8 foot almost fit in there, so... Mm, yeah, it's a men's shoe. It's a men's size 10. So comfy. So, get these before they're gone. Because these are perfect, in perfect condition. I love these. Okay, now I have to dig under all the shoes. Again, let me just say intermission. It's a great time to go pee. Or feed your children. Or whatever else you have to do. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee because I drink coffee all day. My uncle actually works for a coffee company, unnamed coffee company, will not name it. And so sometimes I get, not this one, it's actually not this one. It's not this one. He does not work for this one. He would be insulted. Anyway, I sometimes get coffee and it's really good and I drink it all day. So shout out to my uncle. Okay, clothing, here we go. Longest video ever. Thank you for sticking with me because there's lots of great stuff. And for sticking with me, see now we're in the middle. So now I'm gonna tell you, if you watch this video and then bundle something from my closet and say that you watched my whole YouTube video, I'll give you a bigger discount. So tell me that you watched my YouTube video and I'll give you a better deal because you stuck with me, because <laughs> you stuck with me. Okay, so the first thing I found, this was me really trying to shove things into my bag, my shove, shove a bag, shove stuff into a bag, <laughs> fill a bag thing. It's super cute scarf. Trying to prepare. Crazy mom hair, don't care. All right, trying to prepare, here's this. So cute, I think I'm just gonna wear that. So this scarf is not in my Poshmark closet yet, but it will be. It's not particularly long, but it's really nice and fluffy. Like if you wanted to do a little knot. Sit it, so cute. Okay, I'm sweating. This will be in my closet. Okay, some of the clothes have hangers on them because I hung them up and then I thought, no, I am gonna share these clothes with you. So I'm moving shoes right now. Okay. A lot of these things are things that I wouldn't necessarily pick up if I was at the thrift store looking for you know, great bolo brands or whatever. But the price was right. So this is a Banana Republic skirt. And it is not a Banana Republic factory. There are no dots. It's a Banana Republic skirt. And it is a wool skirt. Yes, it's 100% wool skirt made in Italy. It's probably, it's knee length. Just a black, awesome, like separate work piece. So cool. That will be in my... Poshmark closet, it is a size six, sorry, I wanna make sure it didn't say eight. Size six, and super like perfect condition wool skirt from Banana Republic, made in Italy. So a very nice Banana Republic, not Banana Republic factory that's sometimes cuter than Banana Republic regular. You know it's true. Okay, 
This gap jacket makes me very happy for many reasons. There still is the, which I don't know, does this really raises the value of this jacket? But anyway, um, this is the tag from when this was dry cleaned. This jacket is so cute and it looked like it was like a newer style jacket. Little do I know. This tag says that it was dry cleaned in 2005 and it has not been worn and it's in perfect condition. From Gap, it's the big older Gap label. label, label. Um, and it is a size six as well and it is in perfect condition. It is almost 100% I'm going to stand back. It's almost 100% cotton. And it's brown and it just looks like a really good feel. Little paisley on the inside. So cute little pockets that don't work. They are the faux pocket. But you can totally just roll these sleeves up and be all, all cute. Three quarter length sleevey. Mm -hmm. And it has a little bit of like, oh look, this hasn't even been trimmed. Sometimes I pretend to know what I'm talking about. Hope that's not too incredibly obvious. I'm just practicing for when my kids are teenagers and I have to make things up. Long hair, long hair. Okay. This is a great shirt. I love shirts that feel like this. I'm very curvy and so shirts that fit like this one in my hand are very flattering. So I always try to pick these up for myself if not for you guys. And this is a loft, a loft, not loft factory, a loft shirt. There is nothing wrong with loft factory or banana republic factory or all those factories. There's nothing wrong with it. But I always get excited when I find something that is not factory. And this shirt is very drapey and flowy. It is, it has little pockets that are real pockets right there. Um, it is an extra large. You can see. Can you see? Yeah. Extra large. I don't know how they get things to like zoo, you know, focus. I don't know. I'll get the hang of this. Thanks for sticking with me. Remember, for watching the whole thing and telling me that you watched my whole entire haul video, get an extra discount if you find something in my closet. Bundle it, tell me you watched the video, and I'll give you a discount super long flowy awesome shirt and it has um and you can roll up the sleeves and pin it sorry not pin it button it right there sorry i'm gonna try to pick up the case okay this was one of those that i thought this will shove into a bag so i grabbed it but i wouldn't normally grab it 100 percent silk shirt from italy it's bocce i can say bocce like bocce ball makes sense that's an italian game right um and it's 100 percent silk shirt it's a, I believe it's a lady's shirt. And so this will be in my closet. I see this being DIY'd to something better, different, like a crop top. You should do something like that to it. That would be super cool. Anyways, you can't really see it because I sit too close. Could be a guy's shirt. It is a silk shirt. It is a medium again four and a half year old sweetest kids names brandon i have another little boy who just turned one years old so anyways if you haven't tried poshmark this is a great side hustle for moms and i'm so thankful that my husband has a job that allows me to stay home with my kids and also do this okay more clothes this is one of my favorite things that i got it is a columbia um sweater size small super nice like a oh, super soft oatmeal um, kind of fabric and it's got a zipper and it has little pockets so cute with a hood I love this one so go get it it's not listed yet so don't go get it but get it soon because I'm gonna list it oops put it in this one here all right this is <clears throat> a you can't see it I'm not even gonna try and show you a style and co sport super long like tunic short sleeved sweater shirt sweatshirt 
I'm really trying to start getting some cooler weather things. This is a great transition piece. I'm going to say transition piece a lot. Transition piece because it's the short sleeves, but it has that sweater feel. It's super soft and warm. And if you still have a little summer tan, you don't need to wear leggings with it yet. So this will be in the closet soon too. This was another one of those that I thought this will very, very well squeeze into a bag and I'll get more bang for my buck. Super thin little cardigan. It has doll sleeve or bat wing sleeve. Bat wing? Doll? I don't know. Sleeve. Three quarter length sleeved and it's a little cropped sweater. Dark, charcoal gray. I mean, it's, as you can see, it's very light and sheer. Um, almost like a um, burnout material. It is, the brand is Tea and Rose. Tea and Rose. So it's not a brand that I've heard of. If you've heard of it, let me know. Um, I have not heard of it. It's Tea and Rose and it is size medium. Um, and it just looks like it would be a really nice transition piece for the fall go into my closet. Here's another piece that I would not normally grab. This, but it's a neat, it's a neat shirt. Um, this is a work shirt, but it's cropped. It's a cropped shirt, you mean way back. Cropped and it has the ties, so you can either wrap it around the back of you. You can wrap it around the back and tie it, or you can have it be a little sexier and tie it in the front. Um, but it's a little cropped work shirt. Like a looks so cute, but I wouldn't normally pick up the brand because I don't know the brand. I've never heard of the brand. It's DC Missy. DCC Missy. So if you've heard of that, let me know. Um, it is size extra large. And it is 70% polyester and 25% nylon and 5% spandex. I don't see nylon like that very often. So it's got some stretch to it. A little bit. But anyways, super cute, fun shirt. This one's kind of fun. <laughs> okay, come on. This is, normally I wouldn't show people my thrift hauls on the hangers, but they were already on the hangers. Okay, I don't have much more time to waste of your time. So here we go. This is a lace vest, a denim vest. It's so cute, it's from Maurice's. I love Maurice's, I mean, if I'm shopping mall brands, I love Maurice's. And it's, it's pretty nice quality. And um, I need to, I still need to steam it. See, the pockets are all still funny still. Um, but it is an extra large Maurice's and it has all the buttons. I always look for buttons. You gotta look for buttons. Super, like, perfect fall condition. Maurice's denim vest. Go get it. Go get it. I'm gonna list it soon. Go see if I've listed it. Here's another thing I wouldn't normally buy. Good brand, another Ann Taylor Loft, okay? No dots. You'll see little dots on the label. I don't know, most of you may know this, but factory for Gap or Banana Republic or Ann Taylor Loft, there's like little dots underneath and that will signify that it's from a factory store. Most factory things were made for that brand's factory stores and not made for and has never been in their actual store. Sometimes that's not always true, but that is a lot of times how it works. Ann Taylor Factory, size 6. And this uh, skirt feels amazing. Um, it's a size 6, and it is, it doesn't say, it's, I was trying to find what it's made out of. It has this super cute, let me show you before I find the fabric content. Normally there's a slit back here. But this actually has, it looks like a slip, but it's just like a fold, and it's really cute. Okay, let me see what is the fabric on this. Fabric on this, I don't know. I'm always disappointed when people have actually cut out the label that says what the fabric content is. Oh, here it is. Okay, it is... Doo -doo -doo. Cotton. 92% cotton and the rest is spandex. So that is a very nice skirt. And it has cute little teeny tiny half pockets right in the front, which I love. I gotta love pockets. This is brown too, if you can't tell by my super high quality video. Just a fun little separate. Here is the other men's shirt. I do not normally buy men's things. Did I tell you that? Okay. So 
If this doesn't sell, my husband gets to wear it. This is a size medium. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, Banana Republic. So you can see the dots. Banana Republic factory is what that's telling us. Okay, this is a vintage uh, fit medium men's wash. Kind of looks like a bowling shirt. Can you see? This is like a charcoal gray. This is a little bit different fabric here. And this matches this darker panel that I call it as super cute shirt. That will be in my closet soon. It was just so cute and it's basically perfect condition. Like the pocket isn't wrinkled or anything. It looks like some nice lady bought this and her husband didn't want to wear it. That's kind of what it looks like. But it's super cute. Okay. I also have this really great, this is that fabric that I love. Um, this is a Torrid, this is what the label looks like, Torrid um, shirt. I have not steamed it yet, so it's crinkly, but you can pin up the sleeves for fall, and it is a size two from Torrid. And it's like this super pretty plum deep purple. Really long, flowy, love that shirt. Okay, this is something I grabbed only because it was fill a bag. Banana Republic, so it's real Banana Republic. Also has a tag on it because it is wool. It is a Banana Republic stretch. But the reason I grabbed this is because I don't see this collar very often where it starts out like a crew neck and then it goes into a v-neck. So cute. And it's it was very trendy. It seems trendy for right now. And it's also kind of a crop length. It's ribbed and super stretchy and a crop length. So, yeah, I'm not sure what the length is, but I'm going to measure it. And it's long-sleeved, perfect for fall, and it is a size uh, medium. But it looks to me more like a small, so it's super nice. Okay, I did actually grab some kids stuff, too, while I was doing the fill bag. This is a Cat and Jack sweater, little crop sweater. Where do you guys put these when you're showing these things off? Little cropped sweater um, with long sleeves. It's like an oatmeal color and it's got gold sparkles in it. And a little ruffle. So cute. And the button is a little sparkly crystal. I hear my kids. So I really have to be done to see where they're going to come and help with the video. This is a Connected brand dress, Connected Apparel, which I've never purchased before, but it's super cute. The dress looks brand new. It's a black dress with this cute, like, nude lace centerpiece right at the waist, and it's so feminine and cute. Probably goes to the knee, maybe a little shorter. Size 6. So that'll be in my closet. Here's another kid's cute thing. This, why am I taking this off here? This is another Cat and Jack piece from Target. And it is a size 6, 6X girls little, I mean, I think it's a shirt. Like a tunic type shirt where you would put, um, put it with some leggings or something. I would not let a daughter of mine wear this as a dress. It seems a little short, but it would be really cute with white shorts or white jeans or something. A white denim jacket is so cute. Anyway, so it has a little eyelet, a little this, roughly lacy, cute. Loved it. That'll be in my closet soon. This is something I definitely never buy, but I bought because it was filled back. How, how many times can I say that? Time and true. I believe that's from Walmart. But Walmart, I think they're trying to step up their game. I'm not saying I like it, but they have some cute things. I'm not going to lie. I sold a pair of shoes from Walmart in five minutes. They were Walmart Time and True Gladiators. And I listed them and somebody put in a bid and I was like, yeah? All right, so anyways, Time and True, who knew? Okay, so this is a super cute, okay, this is like a Batman. Striped green shirt. So cute. And it is size large, 12, 14. And this seriously has never been worn. It's super great. 100% cotton. Super nice little shirt. Go get it. Here is a fun, this is this pretty like burnt salmon orange. Burnt orange, salmon orange, I don't know. It looks a little brighter in the video right now. Um, cold shoulder, and it has this super cute white 
um, embroidery in it and a keyhole back right there, a little cute button that's covered in fabric, which nicer shirts a lot of the times have their, their buttons are covered in fabric. That's a theory. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, and I don't know how to say the brand. It looks like Row and D, but it could be Road. I'm not sure, but I think it's Row and D, and it's Nordstrom's. I found it at Nordstrom's. Um, dot com when I was looking for the shirt. So it's a very nice peplum shirt with cold shoulder ruffle sleeve. And I like this one because it has a fall color, but it's um, um, summery. So it's a good transition piece. Okay, two more things. I'm trying to be fast. This needs to tie, but this is actually an extra small flowy tunic dress. And it has a deep keyhole back with a little button there. And you take these ties and you would tie them. So there's two ties to tie in the front. So you have like two little bows right here. And this is a nice brand. This is Charlie, Charles Henry. Sorry, Charles Henry. And this is a fun little dress. Very short, it's like a mini dress. Um, and it's extra small very flowy, not fitted at all. Super cute. Last thing. Yes, it is this color. My phone is freaking out, it's so bright. It's actually pinkier than it shows up in the video, so it's pretty pinky. Um, and it is a girl's puffer vest. So cute going into winter, fall. It's old navy. Again, a lot of these store, mall brands I don't normally pick up at a thrift store unless they're really, really good deal. And they were really, really good deal. So this is like brand new, brand new puffer vest, um, and it is, yep, yeah, size small, six, seven girls puffer vest. Gonna be in the closet. Ah, that is all the bazillions of things all the shoes, all the clothes. It was fill a bag, I went nuts. The shoes didn't go in the bags, obviously. Oh, I didn't even grab the jeans. I guess you guys are going to have to tune in for another video for the jeans, but I got seven brand and seven for all mankind and Joe's jeans. And I got some more shorts from American Eagle and some other things. So those will be in my closet. Some tensile shorts that are like little joggers. So cute. Go look for those. Um, I'm looking at them right now, but they're way over there and I don't feel like getting them. Oh, and I also got a pair of barb barbor, bar barbor, rubber, Wellington boots, navy blue, so cute. Those are already in my closet as well, so go check those out. They have a little bit of wear on one of the little buckles, but other than that, perfect condition for a rubber boot. Um, so anyways, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe for more super long-winded haul videos with my kids having to go tinkle in the middle, uh, mom life. And I just really appreciate you guys. And again, if you have watched all the way through to the end of this video, let me know. Make a bundle of two or more items and tell me that you watched my entire YouTube video and I will give you a killer deal for that because I appreciate you. Um, and sign up uh, for uh, down below, down below, do all of the things. Sign up for all the things. Follow me on Instagram under Trendy Rover and Facebook and my Poshmark closet is Trendy Rover. And if you haven't signed up for Poshmark yet, sign up for the Get The App and then um, when it asks you for a promo code, put in Trendy Rover and you'll get five or ten dollars credit, depending on what they're doing right now, and um, for towards your purchase. But anyways, thank you. Subscribe so that you always get notified when I make more videos. I'm going to be doing a thread up video with goodie boxes and with um, shoes, more shoes, and all kinds of stuff. So check it out. Thanks.